Has this ever happened to you? Well, I can fix that. And I'm going to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a towel to go over the shower room because we don't want to damage it. Get you some channel locks. And then you want to make sure they're adjusted properly. So you may need to play with it a little bit because depending on the thickness of the towel, it may not fit. So just play around with it until you get a good grip on it. And then you can start taking it off. As you can see here, I got a pretty good grip on it. So now I'm going to start turning it. Nice and easy, guys. Once you get it started, you can just start uh, untwisting it by hand. Just go nice and slow. Is this little thing broken? Or is it, I mean, it's supposed to be like this, or it's supposed to be a full circle? Mm -hmm. It's just a little thing. Probably be a full circle. Probably broken. thing. So that's why I won't screw? Probably. Recording. Oh. Is it? Yes. Just like that. And once you get it off, I'll show you what to do next. So right here, what you'll notice inside here, there's going to be a, a black washer screen. This is just like a filter catching any sediments. But under that is what's called a flow restrictor. And uh, this is what regulates how much water comes through the shower head and the pressure that it comes through with. So uh, this is gonna be a modification that I'll show you. But um, to get the flow restrictor out, what you would wanna do is grab you some needle nose pliers. And in most cases, you could just pull it straight out, right? But in this case, it's one that's embedded inside so a way around that you just do this now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab you a screwdriver and you want to stick it right on the right on the back of the flow restrictor let me show you just like that you're gonna grab your hammer or some pliers and just bang the back of it you're gonna create a hole straight through the flow restrictor just like that see how the hole it created you could leave it like that and water will come through much stronger but what you want to do is uh, you want to get all of that out what I did was grab the screwdriver and just start prying the rest of it out because it could get a little stuck and as you can see it'll just fall right out that's what you want out of there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the screen back in right and then we'll be ready to install our shower head back to our shower room. Before you install it back, make sure you add some new Teflon tape in a clockwise direction around the shower arm. Very important. Now once you've gotten it hand tightened enough, don't forget to grab your rag to risk from damaging and your channel locks to tighten and secure it. Now we just gonna test it. Shooting out much stronger now. Are we gonna adjust between both shower heads? There's the bottom one, and there goes the top. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, thumbs up it, like and share it. Chalk Mata King, like and comment, let me know if I can show you how to fix something else.